Hi, uh, Dave Weiner here. And um, this is a real seat of the pants demo. Um, I haven't even thought about what I want to demo or how I want to do it, but I've been working on this thing called Tree Chart on and off uh, since August when I discovered a package this, that could do these beautiful tree charts. And I thought, well, you know, I, I really need to hook this up to Drummer because I know that outliners are extremely good tools for uh, composing these things and flip the other way around it's very nice to be able to visualize ideas this way so anyway so this is drummer which I presume you're familiar with <clears throat> and you can see there are two sub outlines here let me just close this and um, so and if you want to have a look see the type here is tree chart that's just something I made up and this one is also tree chart and um, and so when I go over here and I look you can see there's iOS Windows Mac Unix so why do I want to have this in an outline I'll show you let's see I'll move my windows around a little bit Ugh, that's really <laughs> uh. <laughs> All right, you can't see what I'm doing. Oh, this is crazy. See, this is seat of the pants. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll just do it this way. So I move this down, and you can see the tree just adjusts itself. And um, I take, let's say, I take classic. And if you'll be able to see this, yeah, there's classic. You see it there. And I drag classic over to iOS, and the chart adjust itself and then I let's say we do something really radical and say a Mac is part of iOS and you can see or part of iPhone you can see the chart just completely recalculates which is nice <clears throat> so let me get this back to where it belongs now you wouldn't want to do that with uh, something like um, you know computers like this because a Mac never stops being a Mac and never becomes iOS. But if you were like doing an organization chart, you know, that would change. So then I have another thing here called geography. And uh, there are a couple of ways that I could access this. Um, here, let me, let me show you this. Because, and you know, I think you've been able to figure out so far that the outline and the tree chart are hooked up to each other somehow. And the way that works is really the same old way that outlines always hook up. It's called uh, uh, instant outlines. And uh, it's the same thing, just a different way of viewing an outline. And so um, you can see here that the two choices are platforms and geography. And so I can just do it like that. And we can see geography and the same connection exists. So I could take... Uh, well, I have them grouped. I do this for tests. It's like, oh, give me three things that law that have begin with the letter A. It's just a way of generating text stuff. Um, let's get back to geography. Interesting. Whenever it updates, it shouldn't do this. This is a bug. Whenever it updates, it always um, goes back to the first item. So here, I'll just modify the outline like that. You can see that's a bug. It shouldn't be doing that. But to keep it in geography, here, that's, this is all I have to do, is I make it the first guy, and then, there. Now it's going to show up. And um, so I could reorganize this a different way. I could say, let's just get all the places that are in Africa, and Europe, and America, and then just start... And not this thing. Oh, here, what we could do. Here, let's do this. Well, here. Yeah, it's America. Boston's in America. And this is Baltimore. And Bosnia is in Europe. And Egypt is in Africa. And here, what we got down here? We got Charleston is in America. Right? California, you can't see it, you can barely see it. California is also well, America. What are you going to do? I'm biased, right? And then I can, oh, Austria is in Europe too. Here we go. 
And now I can get rid of the, and you can see how cluttered everything is here. But now I can just completely neaten it up. And everything should just snap into place. And then since I have so many things that are America, let's just make one category for South and North. And we'll put Argentina in South because that's where it is. And then the rest of these are in North, right? And you can see that the structure, let's move this over a little bit so you can see. So anyway, maybe you don't like those colors and this, this is where things get kind of interesting. So let's say I just want the geography. Well, here, let, let's go up here. You have these different levels of values. So the, uh, I put all these things underneath this headline called My Charts because what I've done, here, I'll move this over a little bit. Um, I've basically put a bunch of different attributes onto that headline. You can see this is the one that contains both geography and platforms, these two um, tree charts. And so what this is saying here, by having the color, the rect, rect stands for rectangle, uh, the rect fill color is yellow. If I just change that to white and then save, there, you can see it just changes to white. And that will be also true for, um, for platforms. And why is that true? Because it's, I created it at a level higher than the outline, the outline itself. But if I wanted platforms to be, have a yellow background color, um, I think it was called Rect. It's a really unfortunate name, isn't it? Rect fill color of yellow. And now, hello, what the fuck? Oh, because that's platforms is why. Da, 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 da. There. So platforms has yellow, but geography will have white. There you go. So you can set globals or locals, and you can control here. So we've got... I think this is, well, let's see what we got. We got um, t -t -t text font style is italic. I don't, let's say I don't like that. I just want to go with bold. There, everything straightens out. And you can set things like the font size and the overall graph size. Um, you can't set everything. It would be nice if you could. I just also want to add the caveat that this isn't meant to be a full production application. This is a demo app and it's useful. You will want to use this in some circumstances, but what I wanted to do is I wanted to put a product right here in this place and define how it hooks in to Drummer. And, and then people can take this code and make the tree chart beautiful and fantastic, loaded up with features. Um, or produce other kinds of charts. This is, this is a whole category of things you can do with outline structures that are called renderings. And old school, which is the blogging software, that is a rendering. Um, and tree charts are definitely a rendering. And there are lots of them because, um, because these structures appear in lots of places. And having something where you can edit the structure, like I did when... I set all this stuff up in motion, basically, um, and I could do it again. I could set it up in a different way, or I could add um, another few countries here. I could say uh, Ethiopia, India. I mean, I can just go crazy, right? And. Uh, now you probably want to make this a little wider and then this will sort of spread out a little bit more too. Um, and having some good sample code around for SVG will be nice to have too. So anyway, my plan is to sort of neaten this thing up tomorrow and release it because um, enough already. <laughs> I've, been, I've been really, you know, whatever, trying out lots of ideas, let's put it that way, till Finally, I said, this is the right way to go. I mean, I could have gone a lot of different ways with this. And I said, nope, this is the box. 
wanted to find this box and that's what we're going to do so anyway thanks for watching and uh uh talk to you soon bye, -bye.